So if the food, energy, shelter, and even services prices going up, unfortunately, I have pretty bad news when it comes to the latest inflation report, which by the way, was just released yesterday. So in January, the head inflation was at 3.1%, but unfortunately, it increased in February. Now it is technically a small difference, but the problem is we're not moving in the right direction, because as you probably already know, the Federal Reserve's target is to keep the inflation at about 2%. So even though with the small increase in inflation means that the Fed's plan is not working so greatly. Now the actual core inflation dropped from 3.9 to 3.8 percent which I guess is good technically at least but remember this is still nowhere close to two percent target. So with that being said it doesn't look like Jerome Powell will actually decrease the rates in the March meeting and I think even with Federal Reserve meeting coming in May there is still pretty small chance for the rates to actually decrease and obviously nobody can really predict it but hopefully by June or at very least in July we will finally see the interest rate it's going down. I'm sure a lot of us and not only me are waiting for this news. A lot of people around are struggling to pay the bills. It seems like the prices keep going up all the time. So the interest rates decrease will be more than welcome. Now quickly, let's talk about four most important sectors. And that's of course food, shelter, energy and services. So let's go into this report now. Oh, and by the way, don't mind me reading because I'm trying to be faster. So in the current inflation report, the food prices went up 2.2%. And assuming that this report is accurate, actually, it is lower than 2.6% in January. However, when you think about it, this is not really the best news because food prices are still going up, except a little bit slower this time. Now, energy prices in the latest report went down actually 1.9%, which again sounds pretty nice on paper. However, when you compare it to 0.6% decrease in January, and that's of course year by year, that means these prices are actually trending up. So as far as the energy energy inflation is concerned, this is not the best news either. Now the shelter prices inflation is currently at 5.7%, which is I guess slightly better compared to 6% in January. However, this doesn't really represent the current market rates. So in other words, this decrease is not a full picture. Now as far as the services go, the inflation decreased from 5.3% in December to 5.2% in current report. So pretty much the inflation for the services at least is very stagnant and doesn't seem to move much at all. So what does all this data actually mean for average person like me, for example, and you? Personally, what I think it means is that at least for next two to three months, we have to tighten our belts because it doesn't seem like the interest rates are gonna go down in near future at least. And same goes for the inflation. Although, and this is kind of interesting with the election coming up, for some weird reason, I wouldn't be surprised if the interest rates actually go down. And yes, that's even if the inflation is still going up up because otherwise if the interest rates will stay high that might be not so great for the current administration but of course we will have to wait and see okay so this is it for this video but if you're trying to pay off your debt on the credit cards click this video next this is exactly how i paid off our credit cards and as always thank you for watching